Hello again YouTube, this is Wake Run Collapse. I am trying to sneak this video in before midnight on the East Coast, so I'm recording it around 10.15 right now. Uh, the Red Sox game is on in the background, but I had the opportunity to sleeve together a monster shipment of single cards from two different locations. Wanted to put them all together and start this video today. So, as I may have mentioned before, I'm going to attempt to complete the E-Series collections, uh, apart from the crystals, of course, those are ridiculously expensive and I don't really see their value. It's kind of like collecting shinies for me. Uh, anyways, there are five Japanese E-Series sets, and I'm going to try to complete them aside from the crystals without opening a single pack. And thanks to two great merchants that are out there, Collector's Cash and The Card Collector UK, if you haven't checked out either of them, you definitely should. I am more than 80% of the way to finishing these sets. Uh, I have already gotten a, uh, a really awesome BCBM from the Cat's Meowth, um, which helped me uh, complete a lot of different uh, single cards, so big ups to her. You'll be seeing that eventually. Um, I will eventually upload it, I'm sure, if I haven't already. And um, yeah, anyway, since there are five Japanese sets, I figured I would, uh, on my vacation week this week, upload one video for each set and show each of the single cards that I was able to procure from Collector's Cash and the Card Collector UK. Most of the commons and uncommons are from Collector's Cash and the non-hollow rares and the hollows are generally from the Card Collector UK. So if you're looking for those sites or looking for single cards from any Japanese sets, I would definitely recommend either site. I'm very happy with both the quality of the service and the card quality. So uh, without me uh, talking all the way through this video, Let's have a quick look at the cards. Now in E-Series 1 there were 128 cards in the set and they were not automatically sorted by type, they were rather sorted by rarity, which I found pretty interesting. So as I cycle through these cards, you'll notice that they're really not sorted out the way they're supposed to be. These are a lot of uncommon cards. Uh, there may be a few here and there out of order, but for the most part, they are in order. Which is, um, I don't know, like I said, it's pretty interesting. I got pretty much all the commons for this set from the Cat's Meowth, so you're seeing basically uncommons here. But of course, really awesome artwork. Uh, this is the ca uh, Copycat Trainer. And from here, these are actually all going to be non-hollow rares and then hollows. So let's have a quick look through. I'll actually read them off as I go now that we're here. We have Venusaur, Vileplume, Weezing, Meganium, oh, skipped one, uh, Ninetales, Rapidash, Polyrath, Feraligator, love that, uh, that look there, it's really nice, uh, Gengar, Dugtrio, Machamp, Golem, Pidgeot, another one of my favorite cards from this set, Fero. Clefable and Dragonite and that will do it for the non hollow rares now the hollows you'll notice are pretty familiar because they have the same cards as hollows and non hollows but we'll read them off and read through them anyways we have Arbok, Weezing, Rapidash, Polyrath, Cloyster, really like this card too, uh, Kingler, another fur alligator this one being the hollow version of course, Raichu, Pichu, Ampharos, Alakazam, Dugtrio, Golem, you can barely tell on that one, uh, that Pigeon, love it, Fero, Clefable, Dragonite, and Skarmory. So this is an awesome look at uh, many of the cards in the E-Series 1 collection. I will be doing com the complete set videos once I actually complete the sets, but I'm a ways off from there. If you have collected Japanese E-Series and you've got a bunch of duplicates, Make sure to check out my wants and haves list at wakerunncollapse.blogspot.com. I would be willing to either purchase them or trade for them if you've got some duplicates, so definitely let me know via PM or you can email me or something like that. Let me know if you've got any of the cards that I happen to be needing. Uh, but definitely check the wants list too because I always have new stuff coming in and I want to make sure I have that as updated as I can. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look at E-Series 1. Make sure you check back in every day this week for a look at more cards from the Japanese E-Series sets.